man that would be so annoying i get whatever i get that people don't want to wear masks and stuff like that but when you're impeding on literally everyone's day at what cost everything also just ride your bike where you're going why do you need the subway if you have a bike i mean like you could be going really far like i get that but come on don't be everyone's issue like people gotta go to work they gotta freaking pick up their kids come on lady Okay, wait. Ew, what is on him? I need to watch this again. Did he throw up? Did he throw throw up you guys or was that just a really gross spit i don't even know but either way bleh, bleh. ew and then he fell directly into it and then he couldn't get up because it was slippery wow nightmare hey what's up you guys welcome back to top 10 central i am your host today olivia kozlowski and together we are going to be looking at some more entitled people who got instant karma you guys know how much i love these i think that you guys love them too so we're gonna have a jolly old time together today just watching some videos seeing some people have some crazy behavior let's get into it Do people really set off fireworks in the middle of a city? I feel like that just is crazy. I mean, I grew up in like a more rural area, so people would set off fireworks, but like they'd be on a farm where no one else is around or just in the middle of a big field. Or just in the middle of a city, I feel like that could go really wrong. Could it go wrong? I don't know. How dangerous are fireworks? On a scale of one to super dangerous, how dangerous are fireworks? Let me know. like a whole freaking parade of people. Man, I love when things like that happen. I know like nobody likes slow traffic, but sometimes it's just gonna be slow and you're just gonna have to deal with that. And you can't always sneak your way around it. Maybe you just need to go down a different way. Also, that was a lot of people on motorbikes. Where were they going? What was going on there? Let me know. That police officer's like, really? Did you just do that right in front of me? I mean, cool trick, buddy, but like, now we gotta do this whole rigmarole. You know what I mean? That's like not a serious enough offense to like lose your license, right? Like you just get a ticket, I think. I don't really know. Oh. That person just cut a police officer off. That's what just happened. What? Why would you do that? Man, that is just insane. I feel like this looks like it's, I don't know where this is, but I feel like it looks like it might be in Toronto. Like use your mirrors. Also just don't cut people off first of all, but also use your mirrors to see if the person you're cutting off is a police officer. That's definitely a ticket. You wouldn't lose your license for that one. And I know that, but. You sound like you're speaking from experience. Well, can you even get a ticket? Yeah, I guess that's like, I don't know, reckless endangerment or something. I don't even know. <laughs> People are aggressive driving today, you guys. What is going on? Why is everyone just in such a rush all the time? I get it like i hate being stuck behind a slow person i hate being stuck in traffic even if i'm not late but at the end of the day being stuck behind a slow person is first of all better than getting a ticket and also better than freaking getting in like an accident or someone getting hurt or something like that let's all just chill out let's just chill out next time i'm like upset in traffic i'm gonna have to remember me saying this because sometimes these things are easier said than done you know what i mean
<laughs> I see like I don't understand why people even do things like that in the first place like how hard is it to just hand your money to somebody like a regular human being you don't even have to really directly hand it to them but just throwing it at them seems a little rude don't you think hmm. I'm glad that he threw the change back because most people wouldn't have but sometimes you just got to be a little sassy to get your point across you know <laughs> that was so good. I thought the whole time that the guy was just like gonna turn around and catch him in the act. But to be honest, this was way better. <laughs> What was even the point of that? You guys, what was the point of that? Why would you do that in the middle of just the road? And again, these people are all in cars and they're just not look like you have, you can see basically everything around you. First of all, you're in a windowed vehicle, but also with mirrors to increase your visibility. So you should definitely be able to see these police officers. Not that I'm condoning this kind of behavior, but it's just crazy how People are just committing crimes right in front of police officers and aren't even looking to see if they're around. That's just nuts. Oh yeah, I saw this one. Yep. Yep. This is why you can't park in front of a fire hydrant. I don't know what to tell you, it's the rule. I asked you guys if it's like a rule everywhere that you can't park in front of a fire hydrant and the general consensus is that yeah, we all know that we're not supposed to do that. And this is a prime example why. Now, I don't want to do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Fire the hole! <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> I am so glad that she was able to get him back. Like, why would you do that? Just to ruin somebody's day who's just trying to do their job? Was that the point? Like, what was the goal of that? That was so stupid. And I'm very glad that she got him back because it'd be way worse to have that in your car than in the drive through window. That was, I, mm, I hate that kind of behavior, y'all. That's all the videos today, guys. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I can't wait to see you guys again so soon. Bye. Also, I need to know, sorry, my neighbors are doing construction. Moving on down this list. Car stunts. Okay, my neighbor has been hammering all sing all day, all day. What, how much do you need to freaking hammer into the walls all day? Clip 14. Oh my God, that was so loud in my ears. Evan. Okay, I hope, well, I hope you can't hear what's going on next door, but I also hope that you can hear because it's just like, it's a lot. I'm wearing headphones and I can still hear it. Oh, like, what are they doing in there? Building a whole new apartment? The frat president gives attitude to the wrong couple. I don't know why though, like you're not it, bro. Yeah, that's no, fine. He's the president. And you're he's not president. either. He's the president. He's the president. Oh, what do you want me to Oh my god, the spice, the spiciness of this video. Ooh, the content, mm, so, oh, the spicy. She's watching you. She's watching you. The amount of times that this has happened to me where I'm just chilling in my lane and somebody's like, ooh, let me come in there. Oh my God. 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 Oh my God.
I wish this would have happened. I wish there would have been a cop behind me and they would have seen that and said, I see him doing that pull over right now. Like, oh my gosh. People cannot drive. People cannot drive. Especially in Toronto. What's going on, my friends of the internet? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I'm your host, Brie Room. We're reacting to some more entitled people getting some instant karma all up in their grill. I'm excited to watch this. It's gonna be good. We're gonna see some people getting humbled a little bit by the universe, and I'm all for it. All right, sit back, buckle your seatbelts. You know, let's get, <laughs> let's get into it. Happy Mardi Gras. Oh no. <gasps> <laughs> hey, where do you live? Can I go pee? There? Bye. Oh. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras. He's still spraying water too. Oh my god. He was waiting for that to happen. I feel like he's been waiting on his porch or, or wherever for a while, just waiting for something to happen. He planned this, I guarantee you. He was like, all right, let me get the hose ready. Like something's gonna happen. Oh no. Get Ariel a little feet back there, uh -oh. kick it. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, I'm so glad I was recording that! right now <laughs> that is so funny oh my gosh i mean i feel really bad for the horse clearly he was struggling to get through that water and up the mud like it's slippery that's not fun imagine you giving a piggyback to somebody across conditions like that that does not sound fun so poor horse but also like quality content right there i'm just riding my scooter down the street and you got a problem bro i don't give a fuck about a reason Yo, you see that? Oh. You, you seen that? Look at look at your dumb ass. You got it stuck under your car because you're dumb. Oh <laughs> what, what is he doing? What is he doing? This dude, I was just riding my scooter. He's going to start flicking me off like a dumb ass. Look at you, bro. Look at you. You doing to you, Man, if you were nicer to people, you might have a better day. You know that? If you pay attention to the fucking rights to I the I don't road. give a fuck. Okay, I'm a dumb <gasps> bro. I'll break the fuck out your car. What's your name? Oh my god, that is horrible. The words that this man had the audacity to utter. It just. Oh boy, oh boy. This time, you deserve to get that scooter stuck under your car. Because you don't say things like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, the rage is a boiling in my body. There's nothing that makes me more mad than racism. You don't do that here. kidding me and you could have just gone around i don't even know if that group of people was together i feel like the first two were together and then everybody else kind of just followed the like uh-huh that's so funny let me also walk on this person's car you really didn't need to act like that that's just childish that's immature just go around the car since nobody wants to let me in the tiktok i'm going to fit in my own locker look what i just did the door shut oh how much shut it on myself the door shut and everything i know <laughs> this isn't my locker um it's 38 right i'm 36 okay this isn't oh why the freak would you get some random because it was the only one open go go get somebody or something i need to get out of the guys it's literally it's literally oh my god guys it's literally so hot in here please get me out okay Go get the teacher. Oh my god. She locked herself in a locker. I really hope she's not claustrophobic because that would be an absolutely terrifying experience. I couldn't imagine that. You know that she's never gonna do that again. Ever. She's not even gonna think about doing that again. Oh, I feel so bad. I hope she's okay. He 
really tried to be clever by throwing his shoe and now it's gone. <laughs> Oh, and I, I'm pretty sure for copyright reasons, the music in the background is going to be taken off. But the music that I'm hearing, it just adds to the video. <laughs> Again, this just teaches you to not be like this. <laughs> Don't throw your shoes at people because you might lose them. Stand and go. Uh oh. <laughs> gonna be in so much trouble. He's grounded forever. And that's probably gonna cost a lot of money to fix because it's leaking in places it's not supposed to be leaking. Go somewhere where you're supposed to be doing cannonballs because cannonballs are not meant for the bathtub. Unless you have a really, really, really big bathtub. And in that case, you are probably very rich. Hit me up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Greek. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be reelected after that. Can you imagine going somewhere and everybody booing you? Like, imagine how that must feel inside. That must be really, really sad. Thank you all so much for coming and reacting to these videos with me. Hopefully, hope, hope, hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun because I did. And as always, if you're acting mess, you're gonna end up here and I'm gonna humble you. So be nice to people. Don't be rude. Be a good person. I'll see you later. Bye, friends. I hate myself. <laughs> All right, let's get into Racky reacting to the things and stuff and Woo! Make sure my computer's not gonna shut off on me. All right, ooh, it's intro time. I gotta come up with something clever to say, even though I have a zero personality. All right. Yeah. I feel like I saw that one coming. Again, I feel like all the time when we watch these videos, I'm like, what is the point of this? What's the goal and why? I feel like I would just leave the thing alone if I saw it, you know? Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Central. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and can you believe we're on part 12 already of these entitled people who got instant karma? There's just too many videos for us to sit here and react to and to watch together. So let's get right into it. <laughs> yeah. I hope your butt was wet for the rest of the day and everyone made fun of you at school. Because why would you do that? Why would you do that? Actually, I don't hope that anyone made fun of you at school because that's bullying and bullying is really rude. But like, what? Don't do that, mister. I hope you learned your freaking lesson. <gasps> Oh, that's me! Fuck off! Come on, it's this, big lad! Come on, ass lad! That's what happens when you shoot him! Hey! Oh, the ability! Hey! Oh! Hey! Lad, he's cheap, hey! He's cheap, hey! He's cheap, hey! Okay, first of all, whoever's driving that thing was probably having the best time because when are you ever gonna get to do that again? Also, so it says that they were unpaid contractors, so I'm assuming they like renovated or whatever. If that's the situation, what's like the repercussions for them doing this? Like, I got a lot of questions about this one and I gotta say that did look like a lot of fun and I'm kind of jealous, but I'll never be able to do that. <laughs> What the heck just happened? 
This is chaotic. I don't know if this was anyone being entitled and I don't even know if this was instant karma. This seems like a very hostile situation and I'm a little worried for everyone's safety. I don't know what was going on in the situation, so I don't know if he was really being entitled driving that thing. But that sucks because that looks like a fancy car that took a lot of work. Dang it! He's invitingly on display. I mean, the only thing missing is a big sign saying, Why not jump in and take stuff? Oh, you already have. Trouble is, mate, this is a swag lorry, so just try those bars for size. We're on the move. Step right up. The thief caught in a cage. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. This is the ride of a lifetime. A thief caught in a natural environment. A cage. Could that be considered kidnapping? That's a real question. Because like, I love to see instant karma. We get that. We're on part 12 of these. Like, I enjoy it. But I don't think you get to like, lock somebody in a cage and drive them around. Like, that's considered kidnapping, right? I mean, everyone's okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's fine in this situation. But I'm just saying, the lines are gray here. <laughs> oh, hey! What are you doing, man? I'm teaching you a what lesson. Hard, man. Man. That's what I'm doing. Hey, let's just calm down. You and your electronic brand. Calm down. The camera. It's not even on. Yeah, I hope it's very. Yeah, well, why don't you get back to your golf game? Like, imagine doing something that you know is annoying and then being upset when somebody gets annoyed at it. Not to mention he just pushed an old man because he was doing something annoying. Like, why would you do that? Those people paid to be there. They're trying to just like enjoy their day and you come in and ruin it. And then you expect everyone to just chill out about it. Like, I don't know if I would have like smashed his robot, but also like, what was the goal? Please don't come for me for saying he's old. Old is not a derogatory thing. It's just, I don't say old in a mean way. All right guys, that's it. That's all the videos we have for today. It's a beautiful sunny day here today, and I hope it's a beautiful sunny day where you are as well, or I hope that you make it sunny for yourself, and I love you so much, and I'll see you next time, and uh, my name's Olivia. Bye. Karma 12. All right. Intro Roni. And eight. Need some water. I had like three cups of coffee and zero water, so. Wee! And I'm a little. <coughs> okay. I think. Okay. Anyway, loading, loading.